we started getting a lot of like negative press over this. And and some of it was fair and, 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 and to the point, but some of it was taken out of context. And I came to the conclusion like, wow, this is complex. This is even more hard than I thought. How am I going to solve it? I started reflecting on like, okay, is it actually feasible? Can I compete in an industry that to a large degree is built on predatory practices? I mean, anyone can go and watch Netflix uh, credit cards explain. We'll give you 25 minutes of everything that the banks have been doing in the last decades to make you borrow more than you need on your credit card to revolve and put yourself in as much depth as possible because that's how, you know, the banks even say it on their investor calls. They're like, we're going to maximize interest rate spread. What does that mean? If you translate, it means give you as little as possible on your deposit accounts and savings rates and charge you as much as possible on your credit. This is an industry that has lost traction due to the lack of competition, hasn't been forced to focus at creating true value for its customers to the degree. It's become better. It's actually not as bad as it used to be 20 years ago. You know, how am I going to change this? Is there a way forward where I can offer a healthier credit product that is actually, you know, has less of the downsides, uh, but is still profitable because I'm going to compete with people who are not in the press every day, who are not, you know, being challenged every day by journalists and who are not necessarily going to change their business model and make less money, right? So how am I going to compete with that? That was one of the biggest challenges we started reflecting on. But part of that was also we had to go to our investors and say, you know what, some of the revenue we're making is not long-term sustainable. And you are going to have to accept, I'm going to grow volumes like that. I'm going to grow revenue like that. So I'm not going to grow it as fast as volume because I'm going to have to give these fees back. I'm going to have to take them away. And we've done that. We've returned all of that money. We, for example, stopped offering revolving accounts. It's a balance, obviously, because we are, as I used to say, we are fighting fire with fire, uh, you know, offering credit to displace other credit. And, and, you know, some people will always ask that. And if you're of the political conviction that credit is wrong or should not exist at all in society, I'm not going to win an argument with you, right? But we believe that credit has a role to play in society. It's more a question of offering a healthier form of credit. Uh, than the ones that have historically existed. And, and, and there, I feel that we're doing a good job in that. I'm not a big fan of wine producers and, you know, uh, alcohol producers either. Even though most people will think that a wine producer is the, you know, the coziest and nicest entrepreneurial thing you can do. So, you know, people will have their own political convictions in different areas. But we've tried to find the proper balance and then we've tried to deal with both the perception, the media, and make sure that we make the changes to our products that we feel that we can defend them, right? And, and that we feel that like, no, there's a good reason why this product works this way and it makes sense. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.